Good day everyone, my name is Alex and welcome to a new TV box review. For today I have one of the cheapest TV boxes available at this time called the Nexmark D32. At the time of this video it costs about $23, so very very cheap. So what do we get for that $23? We get a Rock Chip 3229 processor, this is a quad core processor, we get 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs of internal storage and running Android 5.1. Let me show you what comes in the box with this and then let's see how it performs. Let's begin. The D32 comes in this box, on the front we see the brand name and the model name and on the back we see some specifications about it. Inside the box you are going to find the power adapter, the HDMI cable, a remote control that takes two AAA batteries and the user manual that's in English and it has a whole bunch of pictures so if this is your first TV box this could be useful. The D32 is made out of plastic, on the front we are going to find the brand name and somewhere here we have an LED that turns on whenever the box is on. On the right hand side we are going to find the slot for an SD card and two USB ports. On the back we are going to find the port for the power adapter, the HDMI, AV, network adapter port and the SPDIF. And lastly on the back we have two rubber feet, a couple of holes so the box doesn't overheat and the model name and the processor. As soon as we turn it on we get to this boot up logo and it takes about 35 seconds till it starts up. First thing I notice is the fact that we have a navigation bar at the bottom of the screen and that's a great thing and that means that we also have the notification tab on top. You can also hide this and bring it back up afterwards, so that's a really good thing. Let's start by checking what apps come pre-installed. So we have a calculator, we have Cloud TV, we have Facebook, we have Gmail, Kodi, we have something uh, for Live TV I believe. We also have Plex, uh, what else, the Play Store right here, Netflix, Pandora and the YouTube app. Moving to the settings app, so this is the settings app for Android 5.1 and we can check that uh, at about device here. So here we can see the model number, the Android version which is 5.1.1 and the latest security patch is coming from April 2016. You can connect the D32 to the internet through a cable or through Wi-Fi and we only have one band for Wi-Fi and that's the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and since we are here let's check out the speeds through a wired connection and through Wi-Fi. On the speedest tab through a wired connection we get a download speed of about 45 and on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network we get a download speed of about 9 so very low speed. And we are back to the settings app. At storage here we can see how much space available out of that um, 8 gig. So we have 5.79 uh, gigs available. Keep in mind that this TV box is running Android 5.1. Therefore you cannot make an SD card as internal memory. And since we are here let's check out the speeds for the internal memory. For the internal memory we get a reading speed of about 37 and a writing speed of about 5. And this is the speed that we get for the RAM. And back to the settings app once again, so here at languages I'm just going to show you the languages that are supported, so I'm just going to scroll through them, hopefully you see the one that uh, you may be interested in. And these are all the languages that are uh, supported. And that's about it for the settings app. We also have root access from the factory and this is the digital rights management information that we get, so unfortunately we won't be able to watch Netflix in HD. Starting with the Antutu benchmark, here we get a score of about 23,000 and at info here we can see some more details about this uh, device. On the Geekbench score we get a multi-core score of 980 and a single core score of 379. Down here we can see some more system information and some information about the scores. And lastly on the iStorm Extreme we get a score of 1850 and down here we can see some more details about the score. We also get Kodi 16.1 and this is how Kodi looks, I'm gonna go to system, system info here, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that we have uh, right here, so not that much information uh, and of course we don't have that much uh, RAM available. So let me show you the add-ons that come pre-installed. So if you're planning to watch anything, uh, any movies with DTS and Dolby Digital, they're not gonna work uh, with Kodi. They're gonna, the sound is gonna cut in and out every couple of seconds. But if you use the movie player uh, built in, uh, that one works with DTS and Dolby Digital. So we don't have that many add-ons uh, available either. We have Exodus and uh, a couple of other ones, but uh, not that many. 
So I'm gonna try to find a working one um, so we can check it out and see how well it does. I've installed a new add-on and um, I'm hoping this one will work. Most of the time this one works. So let's just choose one of these here. So let's choose Toronto. And we'll give it a second to load. And let's just choose this one. And it finally started, so it takes a while uh, for the stream to start, but that's uh, pretty normal. And these guys are like killing each other here. But um, the point of this was uh, to show you that uh, Cody actually works, not to see those guys uh, fighting. And since we have Cody open, I'm gonna plug in my USB stick and we'll check out the files uh, that work on this uh, device and the files that don't. Alright, so let's start with the first one. This is the first one here. We'll see how uh, well it does. I'm gonna skip forward. And the only files I think they're not gonna work are those uh, 4K files. Everything else I'm pretty sure that um, will do okay. So uh, this is how this one works, so very good, no issues. Let's move back. This is the next one that I'm gonna try. And this one doesn't seem to do that uh, good. It's very, very shaky. So uh, this one, uh, it's not uh, doing uh, good. So keep that in mind. The next one that uh, we're gonna try, it's this one, a 4K file at 59 frames per second. I don't believe this one will work, but let's give it a second. So, I only see a black screen and that's about it. And uh, yeah, I guess Cody just crashed uh, with that file. So, 4K files at 59 frames per second are not gonna happen uh, on this TV box. So now Cody has to totally restart. So we'll go back to videos here. Let's go to video add-ons. We'll dismiss this. So you're gonna have to take your time with this TV box. It's not the fastest uh, out there. So just take your time, you have to give it time. That's what you get uh, with such a cheap device, that ROG chip 3229 is definitely not the fastest uh, processor out there. And this is the second 4K file at uh, 50 frames per second and this one seems to do okay. It uh, stops uh, a bit every few seconds if you noticed, but uh, it's much much better than the first one. But realistically this is not gonna be watchable because nobody wants uh, to watch uh, like this. So we'll stop that one. The next one is gonna be this 720p file and this one will do fine. I'm just gonna skip forward. And as I was expecting this one, uh, it's doing fine. So pretty much all the files except those uh, 4K files uh, should do okay. And this one it's the strangest movie ever. So we'll skip to the end. And this one also does okay. We'll stop that one. This is gonna be the next one. And of course this one does uh, good as well. We'll stop this one and uh, move to the next one. And this is a 4K file uh, filmed with my phone. So this is at about 24 frames per second. And surprisingly, oh no, it doesn't do that good. <laughs> I thought it uh, does better. So basically 4K files are not gonna be that uh, great on this TV box. And uh, this one there is no point in even trying. And I have another file right here. So let's see if this one actually works. And I'm surprised that this one uh, works. So that's, uh, well, not totally smooth, but uh, better than others anyways. So these are all the files that work and the files that don't work on this uh, cheap TV box. On the YouTube app, the maximum resolution that we get is 720p at 60 frames per second. I'm just gonna let this play for a bit so we have a better idea how well it does. So it doesn't go totally smooth as you can probably tell, it kind of stops uh, and it skips a frame or two every now and then. But this is something to be expected with a, a device this cheap. So YouTube 720p 60 frames per second and not the best quality either. And it's time to conclude this video. So if you don't like the launcher that comes uh, with this TV box, you can always install a different launcher. I'm using Nova launcher right now and uh, it's very easy to install, you just go to the Play Store and install it. 
the Play Store works okay, but uh, the TV box is slow, so it, you're gonna have to take your time every single time you're looking for an app and you're trying to install something. Also, the multitasking works somewhat, but if you have 3-4 apps running in the background, uh, the TV box will start closing them, just because it doesn't have enough RAM. So everything is gonna have to be done in slow motion, basically, because you don't have the fastest processor and the fastest uh, components inside this TV box. The internet speed or over Wi-Fi it's not the best, so you're better off uh, to just uh, plug in a cable and if that's not an option, just try to use uh, this TV box in the same room as the wireless router. For gaming, you're not going to be able to play uh, the most uh, graphics intensive uh, games, you're going to be able to play something like Angry Birds and stuff like that, but don't imagine that you're going to be doing uh, a lot of gaming on this TV box because uh, it just doesn't have the power for that. So overall it's a very cheap box, if you're just planning to use this for Kodi it's a good alternative but if you do have the money to spare and uh, you are uh, planning to get something uh, to keep you going for a longer period of time, I do recommend buying uh, a more powerful TV box. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, if you did like it press that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.